Greetings and good day, YouTube. How are you doing today? Uh, I myself am pretty excited to get these blueprints for upgrading our furnaces and stuff like that. Hopefully, we don't have to do anything ridiculous. All we would have to do is like pick up the furnaces and upgrade them that way. But we shall see. Uh, important announcement tonight at the fireside meeting. That's probably about our just amazingness at clearing the thing. Uh, I've got news for you. Now that your workshop has achieved rank C, you qualify to do the inspection for us. Come by during the weekend and help us when you have time. Is this talking about the trees? I do not know, but let's go to the over here and see about that right off the rip. Anyways, while I'm running there, I would like to say for those of you that are doing, having a good time at the kingdom and enjoying the ventures we're going on, don't forget to subscribe before you head on out. Leave a like if you like and comment if you feel so inclined to do so. And also utilize the links in the description below to catch me on all my other stuff, i.e. Twitter, the community discord, and Twitch, where you can follow me over there and catch me when I go live at 8 p.m. EST EDT every weekday. Uh, Mars. Hey, fish for dinner. Even though we live right by the sea, I haven't eaten any fish in weeks. Every day I have to look after my shop, so I can't go fishing. Can you bring me some? Sure. Now let's see what this mission is. Six day time, two catfish. We can do that very easily. Um. What? I'm very. Hold on. Did I did I have to accept that mission? I think I might have had to have accepted that mission. We're rank C. We can do the inspection. What the hell does that even mean? I gotta go double check. Oh, research center. Damn it. Do that right off the rip before we forget, because I was literally going to forget. Also, where the hell is Mc McDonald? Probably got a farm on the outskirts. I would hope he has a farm in the outskirts of town. Anyways. Oh, perfect. Hello. Hello. There are many forgotten technologies from the old. Hi. Did you discover something new? Yes. That should be enough Two data days. disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research, you can submit more data disks. The more data, the faster we work. I'm patient. The data corruption on these disks are minimal. There should be useful info on them. We'll have something for you by tomorrow. Well, I can do this three more times, so that's what we're going to end up doing. I did... Okay, yeah, I wanted to double-check to make sure I was actually recording here for a minute. So I was like, wait a minute, I did end the recording and start a new one, right? Right? You know what? Let's get this out of the way really fast. Hello. Hello. We're probably not going to actually fight this individual. Yeah. That's the problem right there. We just need to basically run away for 60 seconds if worst case scenario happens, which we are, would either have to wait till we get level 25 or do this. So I'm going to just for 40 seconds run in a circle if you want to skip ahead if you're on YouTube. Be sure to do that because this is all I'm going to be doing for the next 30 seconds. Smile. Because the spars literally just survive for 60 seconds and then be able to go into the abandoned uh, wasteland or whatever it's called. And I feel like getting rid of this because I, I just don't want those little stars on my map anymore. At least it would take four hits to kill us now instead of two. Last time it was like if she hit us twice with that combo, we were absolutely demolished. And two, one, we're done. Win! We actually got some stuff. For that that doesn't Good feel like I should have won that. No, you should. If that was literally how I was surviving. Thank you for the reputation bonus, though. And the experience. Sure. Uh, now we go back to our house. 
take a little bit of a gander at <clears throat> what that message is actually saying because it could be one of those ones that's not showing up on the map I'll have to go back to red messages also pick up our wheat there The weekend. The weekend. It is not the weekend. It is... Monday. No, yeah, it is Monday. The way... I'm so used to a calendar being, like, Saturday at the end and Sunday over here, but whatever. We did not get any seeds, unfortunately. Is there a... Ability to get more seeds. Extra production from cultivation. No. Doesn't look like there's a way for us to guarantee we get more seeds. We'll probably just have to purchase seeds. Where do we purchase seeds from? Hmm. I don't think we can actually purchase seeds themselves, now that I'm thinking about it. What is this? Oh, this is the defense for the bacon fish roll. Yeah, we'll keep that there for the time being. Um... What did I want? Okay, we're gonna put these away somewhere, now that I'm thinking about that. Oh, that's right. There it is. Eh, we probably don't need that, but you know, we can, um... Won't let me plant fertilizer there, there, or there, for some reason. Or apply fertilizer, I should say. Nope. Yep. I guess it would be too full if we applied, like, we'd waste a thing of fertilizer if we did that. Uh, yeah, whatever, that's fine. So now we basically play the waiting game. Let's go fishing. The catfish should be over in this location. We didn't put away the teeth or the bones now that I'm thinking about it. Or yeah, whatever. We can also check to see if we can get other commissions as well. Because of the fact that it is a weekday, commissions don't happen on weekends, that's where the catfish are. The other location has bubble fish and stuff like that, so we don't want to go over there. I mean, it's more lucrative, but we want to catch the two catfish and then go on from there. I think we'll do a little bit of exploring to check out the other fishing zones. Speaking of other fishing zones, there's one in that wasteland area, but we'll probably have to pay some goals to actually get there. I bet you we're gonna get an Emperor one. I'd laugh if we did. I don't know if that'll count, but... Alright. That was easy. So it's... 12. Can we build one of those traps? Probably. We should probably place one of those... Well, first of all, we need to build, like, a housing location for the llamas that we could trap over here. All right. Yeah, colorful or cotton llama. Gold ginseng, aroma apples, lettuce and cumin. Advanced traps. Okay. So we, we're not yet nearly ready to do anything like that. We'll go get a commission, turn in the fish quest, and go from there. I didn't want to check out the wasteland, right? Yeah, no, I want to check out this fishing spot, in all honesty, which requires us to go into the collapsed wasteland.
<clears throat> what do you got for me? Uh, four bookshelves. Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. Two dining tables. We could do it. Ten, ten days to do it. And six hardwood planks. can't accept two can we yeah thought so hardwood planks we can start on that relatively quickly I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time messing in the ruins and stuff like that I need to spend a couple days at some point fishing just to make a crap ton of money uh, let us turn in fish quest over here Let's check out the wasteland. We have a badass sword. Now the question is, can we just go in there or do we have to pay a fee? No, we can just go in there. Nice. My question, what dangers do we have to face? Those look like some dangerous dangers. Hello there. Bamboo. Ah. That's what gets us that. I'm concerned about those things. How the hell do I... Get down there? Oh, cross this area, it looks like. I gotta fight some of these. Looks like I do. What are you? Level 13s? Are you you throwing shit at me? That's not very nice. Fall damage didn't kill you. That's a shame and a half. We'll find out what we get from you, or some of the things we get from you later. Shit, what the hell? You better give me a lot of experience, you little shits. 150. Yeah, whatever. You're in. You're on. Whatever. We'll just ignore them. Come here, you. You're healing. No, 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 no. Stop it. That's bad. Bad bird. Ooh, a chest. Animal fat. Okay, so we get animal fat from them. Nice. Small satchel. What? What does that do? What does that do? Oh. Yeah, whatever. We'll wear it. Why not? Gives us a little... A little bit of a look. Oh, okay. So that's what we catch over here. It looks like... Yeah, might as well. Might as well get some use out of it. We definitely would love to upgrade our fishing rod. We basically just need to wait until we can get the upgraded furnace to do so, though, because... Like, we're currently stuck waiting for the research. At least it's not impossible to catch fish like this, though. Almost broke the line. I wonder if there's anything else, like, really big over here. So I kind of like how when you're fishing, the only time time goes up is based on the fish that you catch. So, like, time's technically paused right now, but it only goes up a couple of, uh... Oh, shit. 
I don't know if I'm gonna make the fireside chat. That kind of sucks. I didn't even remember the fireside chat. Hopefully it's not one of those situations where because we miss it, we're, we just miss it. <gasps> oh, fuck. Ah. We're about to find out whether or not we actually missed the fireside chat or not. I kind of hope we don't, because I know he's going to be talking about my just greatness again. I'm being a smartass. I don't really mind too much, but... Well, the quest marker's still there, so I think we still have enough time. I think if the hour passes over, though, we'll miss it. And... We made it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Gale. I'm pleased to announce that we found the culprits for the stolen item. It appears to be a band of bandy rats hanging around town. Fortunately, they've been dealt with by the new builder in the civil. The Horkum. So I'd say this current ordeal is at an end. <laughs> we have some of the items covered in my office. Come and see if your item is among them. Since the last fireside meeting. I've obtained enough capital to commission the construction of five DD vehicles to form the Porsche transportation. Holy crap! System. You know how it's gonna. You know how. Wow. We're in the process of visiting the builders in our town to get them signed up on this project. When this system is complete, Porsche will enter a new stage of rapid expansion and become a beacon of development in the free city. I hope that everyone looks forward to it. That's a lot of resources. That's a lot of resources for that. It'll probably be each, since there's five builders, each builder will get a commission to build one of the damn vehicles. Uh. We do have a level two work table. We can make the fiber cloths. The rubber tires, I have no idea how we get those. We do have a small engine. Uh, I think we have more than enough to actually start it. I don't want to start it too early, though. Oh, we actually need some rubber fruits for that. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read that one more time. We need 15 rubber fruits. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we should get the research done. You're good. You're good. I have no idea what the happiness of those things will do. Uh, hardwood. We need to make hardwood. How many hardwood planks do you want? We still need one more eyeglass. Six planks. Okay. That's actually perfect. That'll be done after my character wakes up. I feel like this thing keeps changing location. Now that I've placed you here, hopefully you'll stay here. We really don't need anything right now. I, I still can't get over the fact that there's like so many different range options apparently. Uh eh. Let's kick some trees and chop some wood. Make sure we have more than enough rubber fruit. It'll tell us when it's not gonna drop any more stuff. It'll say this tree's not gonna drop any more things. Stop kicking me. Hilariously enough, that would still give us experience. Like, it still gives us 50 experience. Even if it does say that. 
I'm gonna get 15 rubber fruit just from this. Yeah, no more. But you see, we still get the 50 experience for doing it. Even though it will give no more today. Well, it's never gonna give any more resources because I'm chopping it down. I don't know where we're at regarding the level up, but we're probably at that point to where we're close enough that this next tree we cut down should or could give us our level up. I should probably have my character go to sleep now that I'm thinking about it after I cut this tree down. I don't know if there's a pass out point in this game or anything like that. I don't want to find out though. Give me my stuff before I run away. I don't think there's a detrimental effect for going to sleep before 1 a.m. But. Afterwards, I have no idea. <clears throat> Wake up. Uh, let's see if we got any goodies in the mail. Hopefully we do. Oh, my shop ten good. Uh, hello, I've got great news. The mayor yeah. has secured the funding to make five DDs. We heard that at the fireside chat, my friend. Transports used for short distance travel. They will make our town much more accessible. Are you going to give me one of the commissions or all five? If you give me this all five, I'm going to laugh in your face. The mayor posted the five orders separately on the Commerce Guild board. You can start working on them immediately. I'm sure the other builders will be after these oh. commissions as well. So come on, what are you waiting so for? So it's like a little bit of a race to see how many you can do? Two more hours before we got all six of that and we can finish that commission. Uh, we've found something useful in the data disk you brought yesterday. There's a lot of information for us to go through. We'll mail you the result within a day. Oh, I see how it works. That's why it takes two days. I was confused at why, when I was reading the wiki page about it, it was like, it'll take two days before you get your thing. I thought they would have it, and then we'd go there and talk to them, and be like, oh, here you go. Here you go, builder. Can I receive one of these commissions because they're a special commission, or do I literally have to finish the... Oh, that's annoying. Hello, Higgins. Well, I'm glad the rest He's a dick. Beat you up or something. The only character in this game so far that doesn't give us uh, relationship points when we chat with them. Hello. Hello. I think I would have fainted if I had seen one of the mutant rats in front of me. Goodbye. Mm. Hello. Now do you see rats that steal? That's what the technology of the Age of Corruption can do. Eh. Goodbye. Hello? The ruins underneath Portia were probably the natural habitats of these rats. There was bound to be conflict when we built the town on top of them. Well, I've killed them all, so... They'll probably respawn every... So, oh, crap. I hope these are like special commissions and it's not yeah they are uh b ranked commission so i wonder how many of these commissions we can actually complete i mean we're getting a hell of a lot of goals for doing it 1800 is a pretty pretty nice penny uh heard from Persley that you're taking on the commission making a DD transport for this vehicle. You'll need parts made of relics. I'm not sure if you know how to proceed exactly. Come see me in the research center and I'll explain more of the details to you. Uh I mean I'm pretty sure I gotta go to the ruins and whatnot, but I mean
Oh, we're gonna need to get like blueprints and stuff from her, aren't we? Oh. Oh, we need more bronze. We need more wood. We need more leather, grinding stones. We don't need any of those. Uh, grinding saw. Okay. Flaws on products? Okay, interesting. Alright, I got distracted. Single seat. We just need more wood boards. That's why we have two cutters right here. We don't have enough wood to bake, but... Oh well, whatever. Whatever. 15, we're almost done there. Give me bronze. We need more bronze. We're gonna have to chop down like a billion trees. We don't have... I mean, I'm gonna try and make as much bronze as possible in order to try and do all of these commissions. Whether or not we'll be able to succeed, well, we'll still have a lot of bronze regardless. Uh, cloth, cloth, cloth. What kind of cloth do we need? Fiber cloth. How much fiber cloth can we make? A lot. We can make a lot of fiber cloth. Anything else? Copper bars. Um, and we'll make the bronze first because of the tires. We probably don't need that much bronze now that I'm thinking about it, actually. We do have a lot of copper. Yeah, whatever. We'll put one on copper. We'll keep the rest smelting for the bronze. Uh, we need to go to the research center to talk to hardwood plank. Get the hardwood plank. Do not miss out on getting that commission, you fool. Because this allows us to accept another, what, D rank? So, let's do that. I like how much busy work, work you're capable of in this game. That's pretty phenomenal. Research building? Oh, okay, the quest over here. The thing, and you're in here. What is this place? The school? The school. Alright, don't mind me, just turn it in. Six hard wood. Hey. Very reliable builder. Thank you. Let's get 17. Thank you for defeating the thieves. You're welcome for defeating the thieves. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know exactly how to get all the old-timey relics, relics, but we're still going to talk to them. I really don't think we need to do this, actually. But we might as well. Oh, you came. Yep. Since you're building the DD transport, you'll need something called a small engine. It's the machine that drives I got two of those, so I can at least do two of them. We don't have the know-how to craft it anymore, so we have to get them from the ruins. Mm-hmm. The problem is, they don't just lie around for people to dig up. They actually power the ancient robots still roaming somewhere in the ruins. We can only get these parts yes, but actually no. the robots. They're called the Hazardous Ruins. There's a hazardous ruin to the east of town in an area we call the Collapsed oh. Wasteland. The landscape in the wasteland is somewhat dangerous. That's why it's fenced off. I mean... Might as well go there and see if we can't find any robots that we can just slaughter for their parts. Uh, we've already checked it out and we saw the birds that give us some fat in case we need fat. And those water spewing creatures that look like, what are they called, mud skips or whatever from Pokemon? At least that's what they reminded me of on first glance. Wait. Did she say Collapse Wasteland? She said Collapse Wasteland, right? 
Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> be awesome if I had a ranged weapon. I'll probably get one sometime soon. Keeping a lookout and see if we can't find ourselves any, uh, any robos. What is this? Strange object found scattered on the ground. Seems to be part of something from the old world. Okay. Can't do anything about that yet. Probably a part of a quest item and it's not letting me keep it. For reasons. Oh, damn it. Well, soon we should be able to get ourselves a iron pick, and then we'll be able to smash that open. Oh, I would assume here then, right? Oh, this is interesting. So these are dungeons. There's ruins, and then there's dungeons. These are probably we can't, like, do anything but mine specific points, and... It's the ruins one and two that we can just strip mine the entirety of. <laughs> I don't know what you are, but you're dead now. Oh, loot. Nice. Okay, if we don't see a health bar, we probably should just ignore it for the time being. Exit. Nah, we're good. Oh, did I just go in a circle? Did I just leave this place? No. So that's a fish with legs. Pretty creative creatures. They also drop venom. Apparently those are rare drops. The engines. We don't have a relic scanner in here, which makes sense because we also don't have a jetpack. anticipate this to be like the way that it is, but I'm okay with it. Boss fight. Awesome. Anticipate will kick his ass. Chemical dropout. Nice. Alright, so he does a swing and a stab. Or swing and a smash, I should say, not a stab. Much uh, damage I would like, but we'll get him down to zero eventually. Especially if this is all that he does. Not a Ghostbuster vibes. That's what this one gives me. Oh, that was new. Actually can't hit me when he's doing that. I mean, we can be probably knock him in there, right? If that's like, if we can be cheeky enough to do that. Okay, so no matter what, he can hit that one. This one he can't hit on us on, but when he does his little shotgun blast or whatever it is, that's what we had to dodge. 
Okay. Metal jar, salve, tampering liquid, casual clothes, sample circuits, a lot of copper wires we've gotten for that fight. We're probably not going to be able to go too much deeper. I mean, I'm going to knock all these down for the old parts and everything else. Hopefully we'll be able to actually get some more engines. Also, we should check the commissions when we're done with this dungeon. Get as far as we can because three hours pass regardless. Oh, so when we clear it, that's what we get. Got it. Okay. So we get that just for clearing that area. Thumbs up. Got it. So we can make another, I almost call it a boat, um, car, whatever they're called. Transportation vehicle. We also lost a lot more health than I anticipated. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that, bird. You, you, you stand no match for me. I need to clear out that other area to get that other secondary eyeglass. Because we need to bring two eyeglasses to the research center. We also need to find the other horse bits, so we need to go to the first ruins. Since we still have access to the secondary ruins, we should probably go there. Not today, because it's 17. Or it's after 17 and I want to be... And again, we could stay in there until like 20. That'll give us, what, five hours, six hours of good mining to do. I'm actually tempted to go to the forest area and just start chopping. But because I thought about the ruin stuff, I'm actually going to go there. Over here. Firstly's home. Wonder what that is supposed to be. Let's take a quick little gander at our character and see where we're at. We are almost at, we're 3,000 experience away from a level up. Our inventory cannot be that full. Okay, our inventory is a lot fuller than I thought it would be. 20 stamina? This is actually better for the stamina and defense, which makes sense. A lot of these, I just have no idea what they're useful for. I'll have to make another storage thing in soon. Might as well make some use of the abandoned ruins. We'll stop at like 23 or 24, something like that. Uh, let's see if we can't find any goodies real fast. I do like how the progress will remain like, will stay there. Data discs, nice. Give me all of those. What is this? That is a soldier with blade. Oh, a new a new item. How far down does this go? We're gonna take a quick little gander to see how far down we can go in this. Because I think this one I think they both have a like a, a a limit to how far down they can go. But I'm pretty sure this one has a, a shorter limit. I think they both have a limit. But I don't think I've ever dug. Yeah, this is the limit here. Now, basically, we can clear out the entirety of the bottom. Mile. As our level up. Uh, what do we want to level up? Is the question. For more wood. Resources. Promise should start working towards social. Okay. 
Uh, we should also probably do some combat stuff now that I'm thinking about it, if I'm going to be hitting stuff like that. But since we're still just doing gathering stuff, I think I'm going to focus on this tree. You know what? Might as well. Almost a 1 in 4 chance to just get extra resources. That's gonna be lucrative. Yeah, I think we'll do this in the other uh, abandoned place as well. And just... Systematically strip mine the entire thing like I'm gonna do here. We'll start at the bottom and then we'll like try and make little uh, levels. Or we'll start at the bottom and go up. As far as we can. I don't think it's that far, but it'll probably be far enough. Probably not the most efficient way to strip mine something. Normally you strip mine something by going up and then head down. What do we got for resources? Anything around? Ooh, piece of candy. I wonder if there's a, a, a length limit. What is this? Eyeglass. Hey, we got the two eyeglasses. Nice. I should start making my way this way. Crap. Alright. Not too bad. I kind of want to just start here. This is the other way we can strip mine this place, just literally by just picking some small plots of land and going down that way. Getting a lot of tin, well not a lot of tin, but we're getting enough tin from here. Also copper, I don't think we get really any of. More iron, lead, and tin in this area, aside from the other soils. Also magnetite or magnesite or whatever it's called. And we're out of stamina. That's all she wrote. I mean, we could have, of course, consumed food. Hey, greetings and good day, book nerd. How are you today? Sorry about the delay on the, the acknowledging chat there. I don't know why I get sucked in when I'm in the middle of the mine there. It's just like, I guess it's just the, the music with the ting, ting, ting. That kind of just makes your brain go focus mode. Well, at least for me, it does. But yeah, honestly, combat, I mean, it's, you use combat, but it's like, you really do not need combat yet. So I figured social has a lot of fun stuff i mean sure you can get like more money for items but fish is like you get so much hypnotic that's the word but yeah i'm probably gonna get all the gathering before i get anything else in all honesty because i mean the loot increase maybe and the, this this is really good but it's probably more worthwhile to get everything in the gathering section before uh, social or fighting, at least in my personal opinion. Well, the strip mine, the idea I had, like, the reason I like the strip mine thing, it would take so long to do it, but it'd be a, one heck of a personal achievement, first of all. And second of all, I just love the idea of, like, so you're telling me you give me a randomly generated 
mind that I could do whatever I want with, right? I pay you 200 to 300 gold per week. Uh, where am I going? Home. That's where I'm going. I give you 200 to 300 golds per week. And as a result, you allow me to just say, have the same mine. But if I want to refresh it, like say if I do strip mine it or I want different loot, I could go to the elevator and reset it. In all honesty, depending on how big the mine actually are, like how big they actually are, uh, you would probably be fine without having to reset them. I'm glad that you can, though. To, like, level 30. Probably. Oh, you need, you need some happy pills. Uh, you. You. Sort all. Yes. Sort that. You know what? We're just gonna throw the bones over here as well as the teeth. Same for the venom. We're just stockpiling whatever. For now. Probably should use this. Oh, speaking of using this. Well, first of all, let's just... Make you all happy. Let's start some more fiber cloth. Give me all the bronze, please, and thank you. I need more wood. Three tires we need? Let's make six. Let's make two seats. Five glass. Oh, I didn't even know we needed five glass. Uh, fuel depleted. We don't have enough wood to be, de be fuel, do we? No, we don't. Good to know. Um, congratulations, you've become the stockpile storage. You can go there, you can go there. Uh, let's take you out. Put you in there. Uh, oh, shit, we passed that. Okay, so 3 a.m. is the pass out point. That is great to know. What happens when we pass out? We go in our bed. Do we lose anything? I think we lost stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. Um. Maybe not? Question mark? We need to get some wood. Okay, no penalty for passing out. This is a very generous game, and I very much appreciate that. The watermelons in our farm are ripe. Come and pick some. Oh, yay, sure. I'll pick watermelons. Still furnace. Yay. I have been looking forward to that. Uh, We're going to actually have to finish that first. We need glass. We need wood first. So let's go get some wood. I was expecting reduced stamina or something like that. Over here. Hey, Grand Grand. Hello. Oh. You all right, man? I'm sorry. I'm getting forgetful in my old age. I must have misplaced my basket somewhere in town, but I don't know where to look. Can you help me? My book says it's in the house. Metaphorically. Don't worry, ma'am. I will find it for you. 
Where were you last? That's very kind of you. I was delivering some milk to the Porsche school. I probably left it there. You're not wrong, but, but, bear with me, bear with me. We're gonna go to the farm first. I don't think it'll let us skip uh, Hi, the quest the there. On my farm are ripe. Let's pick some. I'm sure they'll taste great. Okay. Why well, would you ever say no to this? The melons here are all ripe, but leave that big one alone. I call it Mr. Melon. The middle one. Huh? How come? Mr. Melon is my candidate for the autumn festival this year. At the rate it's growing, I reckon I have a good chance of winning. All right. You have a competition for the autumn festival. Yeah, for the autumn festival. It's tradition here to do a town fair, and almost everybody shows up. There's lots of food and dancing and music and fun. At the center of it is the best bounty contest, where many people bring out their best harvest of the year. Hmm. Ever since I moved to my granny's ranch, I've participated in this competition every year. I've never won though. Maybe this I've is the year. to win that prize. Can you imagine me winning it? I'd be so happy. I mean, this is apparently the first our characters heard of it, so. Just for fun. We can go together this year. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's hurry up and pick the melon. Leave the middle one alone. That should be enough. Let's chow. Okay. Sure. Well, yeah, it's funny because this is how much I I love fruit. That, Told you so. regardless of how cartoony great, looks, right? makes my mouth water for watermelon. Mm-hmm. Tastes really sweet. <laughs> I might not grow the biggest melon, but when it comes to sweetness, <laughs> I've got this down pat. Don't worry, Mr. Melon is the biggest melon I've ever seen. I'm sure it'll win. Oh, wow. So. Okay, so, that was weird. More, like, glitched out for a minute. Take care of the farm. See ya. Bye, Emily. I turned off voice chat for the character because I am the character. So... I really have to pay attention during those cutscenes to say my lines. Oh, I wanted to go into the house to see if I could see uh, Grand Grand's basket. Apparently not. Let me guess, you need to be, yeah, buddy. Gross. Gross. How much money do we have right now? You don't sell seeds, do you? You sell tea. Oh, you do sell seeds. Okay. Uh. Show me potato salad. Wait, what's next month? Ooh. What was that? <clears throat> Thank you for becoming a citizen of the kingdom, book nerd. I do hope you enjoy your stay. For some reason it didn't show up on my dashboard, on my tablet, which is what I'm using to see chat with. So I had to alt tab really quickly to see it on uh, Streamlabs. But yeah, no, I very much appreciate that. Uh, what What month is it about to be? Are we timed? We're timed. Two days, 22 hours. At least we get a look at where we're going. Calendar is over there. Uh, month two. It's summer. Okay, so summer. Any summer crops? Any summer crops? Cotton, spring, summer, autumn. Summer or autumn. Plant in the wrong season can cause a plant to wither. Chili peppers. 91 goals per pepper. Hmm. 
bamboo papaya seeds are summer as well. Oh, these are cheap. Let's buy, like... Should we buy all 20 of them? Four days. We have... We're gonna have to make more planters. For sure, if we want to do this this way. Um... Yeah, screw it. We can get enough wood to do that. And enough feces as well. Ah, oh, that's... Screw it. Pulling the trigger on it. That's... That's... That's yeah, screw it. Might be a little bit of a waste, but... Then again... Then again, we do have a little bit of fish to sell, so... We didn't lose all of our money. Yeah, the church sells special seeds. Tree seeds and, like, seeds that have, like, crystal plants or something like that. I actually bought an apple tree and a apricot tree from the church. Uh, you. No, not you. I have five pumpkin seeds. How did I get those? Probably picking the melons. We need to go to the tree farm and just... Go a little hog wild with uh chopping of the trees. <clears throat> We're sixteen thousand away from another level up. Um We just need wood. So let's go get some wood. Probably would have made, like, it's ironic that I decided to forego getting one in here and having two in the mining. But at the same time, I'm okay with it because there's going to be a lot of trees. I know we have to do the expansion, uh, uh, not expansion. The look at the fence, I guess, to see if this is open. Because I think the tree farm's still going to be closed until we do that quest. All right. Unless it's not. Currently closed. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad that even if it's closed, we could still just hack down some trees. So, like, if I were to just pass out anywhere, it takes you right back to your home. A viable strategy in that case would seemingly be to allow yourself to pass out all the time if there's truly no penalty for it. Seems like the only time you really want to go to sleep is when you uh, run out of stamina. And even then, you if you get enough food to replenish all that stamina, why go to sleep? Hardwood's actually probably one of the better resources to get from the trees because you can just break them down into wood. This is a very forgiving game. That's all I'll say, really, because I'm thinking about it. I'm like, in any other game I could think of that has farming mechanics, if the farm ain't open, you can't use the farm. You know what I mean? Like, the tree farm being closed and still allowing me to just hack down all of the trees if I wanted to is very forgiving. Why exactly did I want all this wood? Probably just to stockpile it so I could smelt down glass and stuff like that. Yep, that's why. I had to take a moment to be like, okay, now why am I doing this? Why am I deforesting the forest? I mean, aside for all that wood.
All right, so we go there, we fill up the smelters. Actually, we could probably take one of the smelters and see about how, no, we need to actually finish building the car first. Also, maybe check the commission. We need to do the, the, the basket. So let's go to our house, stock up on the stuff that we need to stock up on slash uh, top off some of the things we need to top off. If at any point they, we run out of wood, we can just... I said refuel it, please. Thank you. It's gonna take three hours for that. Oh yeah, we'll have more than enough time for that. The bronze definitely takes a lot longer. When we upgrade these, it'll probably be a lot quicker. Uh, so we'll start with glass hair, and then we'll move on. What do we need? We need copper bars, don't we? Yeah, let's get some copper bars then. Pumpkin can go here. Uh, we're gonna probably take a lot of this hardwood and get rid of it. Give me these five copper bars, because hilariously enough, I actually do need the copper bars. That's the frame right there. We almost have it. Is it? That's not all the fertilizer I have. I know it isn't. Yeah, okay, so sort all. Yes. Where's all my wood? Sulfate? I still haven't found the quarry. The planters? What do you mean from the planters? The planter's little storage thing I have over there, I'm using this as a temporary storage. I need more fertilizer, that's for sure. Oh, crap. Give me this, give me this. Put the seeds in here. We'll have to organize later, because I hate looking at stuff like this. It's so... Oh, gross. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. My brain, I was like, what am I doing? That helps. How? What do we need for the planters? I know we're going to need more crap. Wood boards, soil, feces. So we need more wood boards. Those are going to be very easy to produce. You know what? Come here. Go here. Uh... Give me... 30. No, give me half. Give me give me 43. Two hundred and fifteen wood, that's probably the most wood I've had ever in this game. So, that's done there. Uh, this costs like fifteen thousand, doesn't it? Yeah, fifteen thousand. We're going to do a lot of fishing in the future to get that 15,000 because that's basically going to be the farm area. Uh, let's go see if we can't get more crap, shall we? Am I missing anything? No, let's just, let's focus. We can get crap at any time. Let's get the basket before we lose out on that quest. But yeah, thanks for the reminder on the uh, planter boxes once again. Also, go to the research center and turn in five more data disks to see if we can't get ourselves some more research. Unless it has upgraded the points from five to ten. That would be a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, I couldn't really be bothered if that was the case. Please tell me the school is not actually closed. If it is, I'll be a sad panda. I'm a sad panda. Hello? Have you seen a basket around here? You mean Granny Sophie's basket? Yeah, it was right... Oh, it's one of these there quests. I knew it would be. Toby just tossed it onto the roof. Oh, that's not that big of a deal. He said he was really strong. You double dared him to do it. Toby. I love how half like some of the lines are just not. I'm sorry. You'll need to find a way to um, get up on the roof. 
dialogue voiced. That's the word I was looking for. That's not going to be complicated at all. All right, done. Research center's probably closed by now. Or if it's not closed by now, then Paul, uh, not Polly. What is her name? It's probably gone. Hey, oh, no, no, no. You stay here, Petra. Hello. Research. Hi. Yes, did I did discover something, something new. new. Yeah. That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite our research, you can submit more data disks. I have no idea what that... More data, the faster we work. ...is gonna do. I'm kind of concerned. I probably should just gave her five, just the for data science. Data on these disks are minimal. There should be useful info on them. We'll have something for you by tomorrow. Neat. Uh, how much data disks do I have left? Eight. Okay. I'm fine with that then. You can probably go talk to the church, dude. Please in focus. Oh yeah. I'm I'm somewhere on that spectrum as well. I got like. See, what my normal schedule is, is when I'm not, like, busy doing something with heating air or restaurant equipment. Uh, I'm chilling at the house doing... Hello? Hello, Polly. Is everything all right? I'm a little worried about the dog on the poster. He used to hang around the central plaza. Everyone fed him, so... We all called him Scraps, then one day he just disappeared. It's been a while, and we've heard nothing. I've looked everywhere, but Porsche is such a big place. Hey, can you help me look as well? The more eyes, the better. Sure, sounds easy. I want a pet dog anyways. Asking around, maybe someone's seen him. All right, is that a time quest? Please don't be a time quest. Yep, it's not a time quest. Hog. Granny's probably in the house asleep by now, so we'll have to turn that in tomorrow. Let's see if we can't get another permission. Anyways, back on track. I, I, some, I'm somewhere on the ADHD whatever spectrum as well. Whatever they call it. They always change the name of everything. And when I'm just chilling, I normally have like something going on on my tablet, something going on on my TV, and something on my PC going on. All to say like three things is the most I can focus on at one time. Otherwise, it feels like my brain's not doing enough. Uh, four wooden storages. That's not that difficult at all. Fiber cloth. Again, not difficult, but I kind of want that there. This is a B rank. Warm clothes. Eh, you're going to have to deal with that. We'll do the wooden storages. Just to, just to get it done. want to try and get to rank two I think we can get to rank two I don't know if we'll be able to get to rank one but yeah the expedited time I'm not worried about um does it matter if you give them five or ten data disks or is the research just always like if I gave them ten is it gonna be a little bit faster because I don't want to waste data disks. I, I'm a pa I am a patient man. Uh, six hours for that. That'll be done when we go to sleep and then wake up. Let's get this cloth hair. Um, storages. Four, four wooden storages. Do we need things for that? By things, I mean... No, we just need wood. Perfect. Can I turn this in now, or is it... Sleep. think it's more manly to walk. I don't trust a piece of machine welded together with relics from the past. No offense to you. I mean, I'm this is my job to make them. I'm going to try and make two of the things. I 
could potentially make three of them. Oh, I'm going that way. I don't need to go that way. We need to go to the plaza. Okay. Just making sure. I'm pretty sure I'll find out, but like... Will blueprints be duplicated, or will it always be like, give me five, and then it's a different research up to a certain hey. point, and then we can no longer give them five? Pretty well made. If you ever feel unwell, come to our clinic to get a checkup. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Uh, we can turn on the basket tomorrow. We can also, since it's 20, we do have a lot of stamina. We could probably make use of that stamina by chopping down a tree. Hello, Pinky. Bye-bye, Pinky. After we start that, like, finish that one, I'm going to try to work on another one immediately afterwards. Uh, you're good. You're good till tomorrow at the very least. Might as well chop down some more wood while it's over here. Yeah. A chart on the wiki? Oh! I'll have to be sure to keep that in mind. These are, the like, some of the only games that I'm okay with looking up wikis from each their own if you look up wikis or walkthroughs or whatever for all the games understandable i try to if i'm new to a game and it's not like this i have a tendency to just go in blind and experience the game as is but for the most part i uh oh i appreciate the link thank you for the most part i go in blind Oh god, what time is it right now? Oh, this is a lot longer of an episode than I thought it was going to be. Whoops. Normally I try to keep it 45 to an hour and a half. We're almost at an hour and 15 minutes. So it's not over my quote-unquote time limit. But yeah. The main thing I do is I use YouTube as an archive. I do, like, I acknowledge YouTube at the very beginning. And, like, remind them to follow and all that jazz. Before we get too far into things uh aside from that variety streamer that's for everyone who's just chilling right now and watching and lurk and what have you i'm a variety streamer uh my current like maybe not schedule but the way that i do things is i start at 8 p.m eastern time and i go monday through friday right and I stream two games a night, a main game and a secondary game, or game number one, game number two. Currently, the first game that I play is Just Cause 4, and my secondary game is My Time at Porsche. But I play all sorts of games. Uh, last week, I just got done with a, I called it a hardcore playthrough of Grand Theft Auto. Five, but really all that means is uh, beating the game with a little bit of a, on a harder difficulty basically like the NPCs did more damage they took a little bit more damage stuff like that I had a couple of other mods too that made handling of the vehicles and collision a lot more quote unquote realistic like if we bumped into a car we would more than likely total our car well, yeah, my go-to, the games that I've played the most on stream are probably, like, turn-based strategies, like XCOM 2 and uh, Darkest Dungeon. But, as you can see, I'm more than alright with playing any game. And I go for about 8 hours a night. So, probably an hour left in the stream. Maybe a little bit longer. Do I not have a good... Okay, yeah, I do have good enough uh, pickaxe for this. Speaking of oh, good enough pickaxe, getting late, you should get some rest. Oh, so a little pop-up comes up when it's two. I mean, I could probably let myself pass out, but it just feels wrong to do that. So I'm going to be sure that I actually try and get some kind of rest. How much?
much rest would this character get from two to seven? Five hours, four and a half hours of sleep. Eh, I know for a fact I could live off three a night. Three hours of sleep a night, that is. I just prefer not to. Let's put our bones and teeth in this storage chest. Perfect. Sort all, yes, sort. Check out this email. Email, mail. You got mail. Found something useful within four days. Okay, that's fine. Not that big of an issue. You guys need some more, but we'll deal with that later. So do you. Give me this. Give me this. Give me glass. So give me this and we'll work on a whole bunch of glass. We'll also refill this up. We're probably going to have to make more uh, wood from the hardwood we have. Do we need all this glass? Probably not. Am I going to produce this much glass? Definitely. So we can just fire and forget that. Uh, we need more crap. Let's go on a little bit of a killing spree. Oh, llamas! I have a sword with your name written on it. Hey, level up. Nice. We could probably just wait to pick some up, but I'm not very patient when it comes to that kind of random generation. Pumpkin seed. Oh, okay, so apparently picking up animal feces can give us seeds, which makes sense. So as soon as we see the health bar, we can just initiate combat. That's good to know. Also, I'm going to pause it here because if I go any longer, the episode on YouTube is going to be two hours long. Uh, so, for those of you that have been watching on YouTube, I do thank you for stopping by and I do hope you enjoyed your stay at the kingdom. Until next time, take care and have a good one, YouTube. Bye-bye.